All right, my friends, let's talk profile pictures. So all too often I see two major things that I think I want businesses and business professionals to reconsider. One, on your business profiles, often I see uh, certain businesses put the, a logo up as their business profile. Now, if you're in a business where you're coaching or consulting or advising, like think of yourself as the product, then I want you to consider making a picture of you as your business profile image because people are truly investing in you, right? The human. And so if you're in that kind of industry where you are directly connecting to people, directly coaching or teaching or advising in some way, shape or form, then I want you to consider making yourself the profile picture. So the other thing that I see is people really not putting enough effort into their personal profile pictures. Now on LinkedIn, this is typically not necessarily a problem. However, I have seen, you know, non-professional pictures or pictures that are not even of a person as a LinkedIn profile picture. But I want you to, I'm talking about everywhere, your Facebook page, your Instagram profile, your Twitter, anywhere you have a personal social media profile, I need a couple things to be thought about. Now, one, it definitely needs to be a picture of you, your face of you, not a far away picture. I want it to be something that is mostly your face because as you know, when you're scrolling through the social media news feeds, when we see a person's profile image next to a post, the image is very small and it's typically shaped into a circle. So make sure that the picture is close up enough that we can actually see your face. The other thing that I see that I want you to be avoiding if this is you, and if it is you, it's okay. I'm not coming down on you. I just wanna encourage you to reconsider what you're doing. I see people post their profile pictures are of images that are not of them. They're either of their, their pets, they're of their kids, uh, they're maybe of like their artwork or something else, or even a picture of them with their kids or with them with their partner or their spouse. I really need you to consider changing these profile images. Your profile is all about you. Yes, your family, your pets, your stuff, your hobbies, those are all important things and they make up who you are, but your profile image is a first impression. And if I can't make a direct connection with you from a face-to-face -face standpoint, it just doesn't have the same impact. Imagine if you walked into a coffee shop, you wouldn't be walking in hiding behind your kids. You wouldn't have your you know dog in your face and the first time you meet someone, you wouldn't say, well, this is my puppy, you know, you know, Jojo, you, you would introduce yourself first. And if you did have your puppy, if it was a pet friendly place, you would probably introduce your puppy, but the person is there to meet with you, not your puppy. So think about your social media the same way. So if your profile image is currently of something that is not just you, then I want you to consider changing it because it's all about you. Once we get to know you, we can absolutely get to know your kids and your pets and all those other things that are great. But Really, we want people to remember you, the person. And so it's hard to do if it's distracting with all these other things in the image. So that's what I want you to think about. Now, the last thing I'll say is this. If you feel like you don't take good pictures or you don't like yourself on camera, you're in great company because I don't know a lot of people that love their pictures or love having their picture taken, um, but you've got to just get out of this and step out of the comfort zone and make it happen. Now, modern smartphones typically have a really nice camera on them. You can actually set a timer and you can put it up and you can step away and you can give yourself a nice little handy dandy self portrait. Don't do a selfie if you can avoid that. I'd love to have it be an actual picture that's, you know, at least an effort in there of making it professional. But better Better yet, find a local photographer. Hire a local photographer, call them up and say, hey, I need a quick, simple, uh, few images, a personal branding photo shoot. I also like to call these sometimes a an adult professional version of a senior photo shoot. The images are very similar. Ask for a couple of headshots and make sure that when you get those headshots, you get them in not only, a lot of uh, uh, photographers are gonna give you a portrait in a portrait like like yearbook style portrait, you need to make sure that you have it in a square orientation and a wide orientation because modern day media, most of our images are either gonna be cropped into a square or we're gonna use them as a header on something else. So get a couple headshots and also get a couple lifestyle shots of you just kinda doing your thing, sitting in a chair at your desk, out in the streets, don't care. But these pictures come in really handy when we're putting ourselves out there. And if you need a bio and a, a headshot sometimes for any events you're attending or speaking at, you want those good professional shots. So just wanted to give you guys that quick tip about social media profile images and get you to maybe up-level the game a little bit. Have a great day.